5 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, or rice. What? 3 to 5 of vegetables and 4 of fruits is best. Their antioxidants and fiber help you to digest. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. This HC exam question comes from the importance of cleanliness chapter. While doing a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, give about five seconds to pause the video. And once you pause the video, attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready. So the actual question says, the diagram summarizes one method used to treat water to make it suitable for drinking. The treatment method illustrated has four processes which can be can remove the contaminants that may be found in water extracted from the lake. And it says coagulation here, sedimentation here, filtration here, and disinfection here. Select one of the four processes and explain how this process reduces the risk of infection from pathogens. That's worth three marks. So when you're ready, press pause, attempt the question, and then press play when you're done. Welcome back. What I'm going to do in this actual video, I'll cover disinfection as the one example I chose, but I'll quickly go over the other ones as well. So for coagulation, could have said that you, know, you add that coagulation agent and then it makes sure that you actually have soil particles and everything else that come out of the water and become sediment. That happens to coagulation and it helps to make sure that we can actually filter out sediment later or remove the sediment which would otherwise be in our drinking water. Then the sedimentation process is where we actually remove the sediment that has come out of solution in coagulation stage. Again, that's important because we don't want to be drinking soil. Soil itself might have bacteria and might generally not be good for our health. Then filtration was important because in sedimentation we remove all the bigger particles, but many of the small particles might be still left in water. And for filtration, we filter them out and then nothing's left anymore. So filtration would have been that. And then obviously that's important because we don't want to have any particles, either big or small, in our drinking water, unless they are good for us. And, but yeah, I'm going to be talking about disinfection particularly. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover a couple of different things. First, I'm going to kind of describe the process of what actually we do when it comes to disinfection. So describe the process. Then I'm going to say why the previous steps weren't good enough to do what disinfection does. So why this step is required. So why this step is required. And then last but not least, I'll just quickly mention how that helps us to prevent, how to prevent disease spread. So how it helps us to prevent the, the spread of disease. So these three are the, because it's worth three marks, so I figured, you know, write a tiny bit, go in those different parts and you get your marks. So the first part was chlorine is added at the disinfection stage and the chlorine attacks and kills pathogens that remain in the water. That was the first part, just quickly described, that gets your mark. And what I did is most microorganisms, including pathogenic ones, the reason why I wrote the pathogenic ones is because if you only write microorganisms, then you might have actually missed the crunch point, which says that, you know, all, not all microorganisms are pathogenic. So you got to make sure that, you know, you also include the word pathogen somewhere. So that you're just not saying that you're filtering out microorganisms, but actually ones that might cause disease. Most microorganisms, including pathogenic ones, are too small to be filtered out for filtration. So this is why I said, you know, this is a, why this is required, because this step, the steps beforehand, wouldn't have gotten rid of the microorganisms or most of them. So I guess you mark as well. And then I wrote for last, the disinfection stage is the last line of defense. And without the stage, pathogenic bacteria and other organisms might find their way into drinking supply and potentially cause illness. So the disinfection stage is the last line of defense. It's the last one before it becomes drinking water. And yeah, without that stage, the pathogenic bacteria will still remain in the water, and that could ultimately lead to the illness itself. That was how, to, how this prevents the spread of disease. That was the last point. So it's also marked, three marks out of three. And where does this come from? Well, this comes from this dot point. Students will gather, process, and analyze information from secondary sources to describe ways in which shrinking water can be treated and used available evidence to explain how these methods reduce the risk of infection. So the actual question says, explain, I think, uh, the select one of the four processes and explain how this process reduces the risk of infection from pathogens. So it's actually only asking you to explain, but if you look at the marks, it's worth three marks. It's always good to also just include the describe part as well, because you never know, like if you just were to explain, they might say, well, we also want you to describe. So I just throw that quick description in as well. 
We hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.